praise the true and living God. He lives today. Um, me and my brother here just getting together, uh, sharing the gospel and uh, preaching the truth. Uh, yes. That's true. Praise and peace and multiply everybody. I hope we're having a great day, enjoying God's continued blessings with his precious breath of life. This is Brother Prophet Mello, and I'm Brother Ron. Brother Mello is going to be reading for us today. And the name of this lesson is called Blessings and Curses of the Bible. So, uh, okay. we're going to open up with Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Those confusions. Uh, uh, you got to keep reading until you get to verse 4 and then 8. Oh, yeah. Sure. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked up unto him. Verse 8. Yeah, verse 8. Right. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. That was Psalms 34, verses 1 through 4, and verse 8. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and doing of his word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's go to the New Testament, Psalm 34. Have a seat, bro. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1. We're just going to deal with some of the blessings. There's many blessings in the Bible, but we're going to... We're going to deal with the blessings and the curses. Get to Ephesians. Ephesians, right? Yep. Ephesians 1. Beginning with verse 1. When you get that, brother, go ahead. All right. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Whoa, he said chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, that is a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Go ahead, bro. Oh, man. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love, mm -hmm. having, predest having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, mm -hmm. to praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood yes. and forgiveness of, his, of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded to, toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, all right, yes. Now go on to, uh, let's go back to the Old Testament, uh, Genesis chapter 12. Genesis 12, on the beginning of the verse. All right, now the Lord has said unto Abraham, or Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Yes. All families of us shall be blessed in who? Abraham. His name was first Abel. But God chose a particular seed out of Abraham. Jesus. And we're going to get to that. Now, let's go to the New Testament, John 15. Already <laughs> John 15. And pick it up at verse 16. Right. Ye have not chosen me. But I have chosen you. What? <laughs> uh, yes. That's Jesus. See? God's word is sure. Uh, yeah. He said he chose you. He chose you. That's right. 
Ain't that a blessing? It's a blessing, man, for real. That's why it's so imperative to be in the and walk in this this walk this walk spiritually. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, bro. And ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should bring should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Mm. That's right. These things I command you, that ye love one another. Yes. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Oh, they 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 hated, they hated Jesus. Yeah, they did. <laughs> That's, that's going to show you. That's what Jesus said. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Because the, the Lord, he, He's merciful and gracious, but the Lord don't hear the prayer of sinners. Yeah. That's why you have to walk in newness of life. Holiness. Get Jesus in your life. Holiness. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, bro. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Wait. Okay. If ye were of the world... <laughs> Would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. That's right. And we see this all the time. We're going to go through some persecution. Yeah. yeah. So you walk in the truth, you're going to go through affliction. Yeah. As soon as you deal with anybody that's not in this world, but you got to stay strong. Now, that's let's, let's go on. Let's go back to the uh, Old Testament. Go to Genesis 32. touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint and he wrestled with him and he said let me go for the day breaketh and he said I will not let thee go except thou bless me yeah because Jacob knew that this was not no regular man this was an angel sent by God go ahead bro <laughs> um, And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God, and with men hast prevailed. Yes. See, he changed his name to Israel. Israel. That is part of the adoption. <laughs> Jacob's name was changed to Israel, and his descendants are the twelve tribes of Israel, or the children of Israel. Now, go over to uh, Genesis 49. Uh, Genesis 49 and start with verse 24. 24. Okay. But his bowels about abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. See, that proves the, adop the adoption. He said the mighty God of Jacob. Go ahead, bro. Finish that. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. That's right. When you read the Bible, Jacob and Israel is one and the same. That is Jacob's name. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So when the Bible refers to Jacob, it refers to Israel as well. And it said, from thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. I'm going to show you a little something about that stone. Let's turn to the New Testament, Luke chapter 1. The book of Isaiah says, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that stone, that, that rock was Christ. Luke chapter 1, verse 31. Verse 31. No, verse 30, my bad. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast, or, hast found favor with God. Yes. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus, yes. Savior. That's right. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Mm -hmm. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Yes. The Lord God of Israel is the God of Jacob. 
Jesus Christ. He has many titles, many names. And he said he's going to reign over the house of Jacob forever. Now, let's go to Old Testament, Psalm chapter 115. Right? Yeah, 115. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Mm -hmm. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Yes. To inheritance. Yes. See? <laughs> See how the scripture proves? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. In incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Yes. My God. Who are kept by the power of God through the faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Mm -hmm. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaven, in heaviness. heaviness, through manifold temptations. Yes. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth through it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Yes. Whom have not seen ye love, and whom thou now ye see him not. Yet believing ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory, mm -hmm. receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Yes. <laughs> that's, uh, the, that, that's the main goal, salvation. salvation of your souls. Keep going, bro. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who mm -hmm. prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Mm -hmm. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them that did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not un unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things mm -hmm. which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Yes. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your minds, be mm -hmm. sober, and hope to the end of for grace, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Mm. He said hope to the end. <laughs> That's why Jesus said, <laughs> And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. We gotta make it to the end. Yeah, amen, amen. Now, let's go to, uh, what was that, First Peter? Let's go to Proverbs 10. One okay. verse here. Proverbs 10 and six. Alrighty. Blessings are upon the head of the just, yes. but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Mm. Ain't that so? <laughs> we see that all the time, no? Yeah. Now, let's, let's confirm it in the New Testament. Go to Hebrews chapter 10. Chapter 10. Yeah. Now the just shall live by faith. Whoa, ain't that what we just read? Yeah. In the Old Testament? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Mm -hmm. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Yes. <laughs> now, let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's get a little bit more into these blessings. That's Jesus. Deuteronomy 28, beginning with verse 1. Deuteronomy 28. Get that go here again. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Yes. And ain't, ain't that part of the inheritance? Yeah, didn't we did. read that before? Yeah, we did. <laughs> sure did. Go ahead, bro. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Mm. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Mm. So that means wherever you go, you're going to be blessed. Yeah. Now let's go over to Leviticus 26 and start that with verse 1. Some more blessings. Ye 
Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land, to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Ain't that in the commandments? <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's commandment number one and two. Go ahead, bro. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths. Whoa, he threw that Sabbath in there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> you got to be Sabbath. blessed. You want to be blessed, you got to keep my Sabbaths. That's what the Lord said. Go ahead, bro. And reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season. And the land shall yield here her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time. And ye shall eat your bread to the full, yes. and dwell in your land safely. Whoa. I see today over in uh, Jerusalem, uh, they're not dwelling safely. No, nah, they're not. <laughs> sure not. So, so, uh, <laughs> If they're not dwelling safely, that, that, that I mean, that's a problem. Yeah. That's not according to the word of God. Now, go ahead, bro. Oh, that was on the internet, right? Yeah. Was, uh, Let's go to... Yeah, no, I think I got six right here. Okay, six. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will, will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the swords go through your land. Mm. But we see that happening all the time on the news. Yeah. Over there in the land. Now let's go to Matthew. Matthew 5. Ooh, this is where Jesus says. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, man. And we start with verse 1. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of God of heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yes. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Yes. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and say, shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. That's right. For my sake. That's Jesus. Lord said, don't worry about what they say or do to you. I'm, I got you. I got your back. They can't do nothing to you as long as I'm with you. Go ahead, bro. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Yes. For so persecuted they prophets which were before you. That's right. The, <laughs> yeah. prophets, the prophets were persecuted, the apostles. So you think we ain't got to go through something too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go through it. Ye are the salt of the earth. Yes. But, <laughs> but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, mm -hmm. but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen to that. Ye are the yeah. light of the world. Jesus. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Mm -hmm. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Mm -hmm. Let your light so stop shine before men. Yes. Yes. Got to. <laughs> that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. But a lot of people say that law was done away with. What law are they talking about? They talking about God's law? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> Can't be. Uh, Go ahead, bro. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. That's right, and all has not yet been fulfilled. We still got the great tribulation. We still got the war of again. You know what I'm saying? We still got things yet to come in this world. 
Oh man. <laughs> Whosoever there shall, therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. You don't want that. That's number no. like five. That's no. hell. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Because Jesus told you. He said, you, you basically got to increase your knowledge of God. Yeah. He said, search the scriptures. In them you think you have eternal life, but they are they that testify of me. What is he talking about? He's saying they, which is the scriptures, testify of Jesus, Jesus. the Almighty God. <laughs> now, was that verse twenty? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was twenty-one. Okay. All right, good. go ahead. Uh, on. Revelation twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Whoa. I know a whole nation of people. <laughs> everybody on this, well, not everybody, but most people on this planet, they got major businesses. You know, like uh, Google and Apple and whatnot. They got major conglomerates. But I know a particular nation of people ain't got none of this. They the lowest on the total pole in society. We gonna, we gonna investigate a little bit into that more, but go ahead, bro. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thine kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Mm. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Whoa. So when you're, at, when you're at the job, you're cursed. You're going through all kinds of stuff. When you're at home, you're cursed. Yes. You're going through all kinds of stuff with people in your own household. Yeah. Man. That, verse 20. The Lord shall send up upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto, for to do, until thou be destroyed, and unto thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Mm -hmm. And you can see, generation to generation, they didn't want to obey God. They just taught wickedness and turned their backs to the Lord. So what's the end result? You're going to see their children and their children's children. Yeah, curse. That's right. Now, what was that? Verse 20? Uh, let's get about verse 25. 25. Yeah. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, mm. and shalt be removed until all the kingdoms of the earth. Whoa. He said you're going to migrate. No, he said you're going to be removed yeah. into all kingdoms of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> he going to allow this to happen to you. Uh, that was verse 25. Go to the book of Judges. Judges. Judges chapter 2. Yeah, pick it up at verse 7, 7 through 7 through 12. Okay. Judges chapter 2. Verse 12. Uh, verse 7. Alright. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua, mm -hmm. and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord. And he did for Israel. Mm -hmm. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servants of the Lord, died being an hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the bonder of his inheritance, in Timnath, Timnath there's in the mount of Ephraim. Ephraim, on the north side of the hill, Gosh. And also all the generation were gathered unto their fathers. That mean they died. And there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord. Whoa, they knew not the Lord. <laughs> and when you read Deuteronomy 4, it says, Teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons the, the ways of God. But they knew not the Lord. Keep reading, bro. Oh, man. Nor yet. Nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served them. Bible. <laughs> they did evil in the sight of the Lord. Man. Go, go, go ahead. Bro. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Asherah. Astro. Oh, man. Now, didn't the Lord just warn us in idols <laughs> in Deuteronomy and Leviticus not to do this? Yes, but they did it anyway, right? Yeah. Now, let's go to Jeremiah 16. Jeremiah 16. Boy, Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah 16. Yes. Verses 12 and 13. have done worse than your fathers. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. See? I mean, See that cause and effect? Yeah. 
They knew not the Lord from generation to generation. And he, what the Lord said to Jeremiah? He said, you have done worse than your fathers. Mm. Ain't that a shame? Finish that up, bro. For behold, he walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, mm. that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers. And there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. Whoa. I've seen that happen to a nation of people too. Now, uh, let's go back. Let's go to 1 Samuel 8. Samuel. Yeah. 1 Samuel 8. 1 Samuel 8. Just to show you the idols, so. <laughs> though. Let's see the first one. Let's do yeah, this. 1 Samuel 8. And let's start with verse 1. 1 through 3, and then skip down to verse 5. Or Samuel 1 through 3. First. Okay. Now there was a certain man. No, 1 Samuel 8. 8. 8, eight. yeah. Let's start with verse 1. Where verse yeah. 1 through 3. And it came to pass, when Samuel was old, that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Job, and the name of his second, Abia. They were judges in Beer Sheba. Mm -hmm. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes, and perverted judgment. Mm -hmm. Sound like a lot of religious, religious leaders today. Yeah. And they take bribes, and they pervert righteous judgment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that was verse 1, 2, 3, skip down to verse 5. And said unto him, Behold, thou art, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us all the nations. Like all, all nations. the nations. <laughs> so they didn't appreciate God because he hadn't come in the flesh yet. Yeah. He was provided for them. They said, make us a king. They want a king of flesh. They want to be like all the other nations. Go, go ahead and keep reading, bro. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Mm -hmm. The Lord said to Samuel, Hey, go on do what they say. Give them a king. <laughs> but I'm going to, you tell them what they king going to do to them. You give them warning. Because they they didn't reject you, Simon. They rejected me. Yeah. So if the Lord, if they rejected the, the Lord, so He wouldn't reign on them, that means what? He is their king. Yeah. They reject the king of spirit and want a king of flesh. And ain't nothing changed today. Now, what well, was verse uh, verse seven? So let's go to Jeremiah two. Jeremiah. Yeah. Ain't nothing changed today. I guarantee you, people want to worship everything but the true and the living God. The only one that's going to really bless you. Yeah, and save you. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah 2. Uh, verse. Start with verse 4. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, what iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone afar off from me, and have walked after vanity and are become vain? Neither said they, Where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, and led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of the death, through a land that no man passed through, and where no man dwelt? And I brought you into a plentiful country, to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land and made mine inherit heritage an abomination. Sure. The priest said not, where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. Mm -hmm. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after these things that do not profit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of that ain't changed to this day. No. Uh, skip down to verse 14. Verse 14 and then skip to verse 26. Okay. 
Is Israel a servant? Yes. Is he a home-born slave? Yes. Why is he spoiled? Because <laughs> he didn't do what the Lord said to do. Still today. Now, skip down to verse 25. What was it? Verse 26. As the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Man. Keep breathing, bro. Saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. Mm. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. Whoa. But in the time of their trouble, they will set, I arise and save us. Mm. But th where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of the tr thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, now, skip down to verse 32. All right. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Whoa! <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> yeah, that's true. How true. They forgot the Lord's days without number? How you gonna forget the Lord? Oh, no. That's crazy. You can't forget him. Man! That's a, that's a wicked people, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, verse 33. Alright, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Whoa, they so wicked, they taught the wicked ones thy ways. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, verse 36. Why gaddest thou about so much to change thy way? Thy also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, as thou was ashamed of Assyria. Mm. Because the children of Israel went into captivity. Moses led them out of Egypt, yeah. right? Out of Egyptian slavery. They forsook the Lord so much that the Lord allowed the Assyrians to come upon them. And you can read, and we read part of Judges, but you can read the books of Judges where they was in and out of captivity from this nation and that nation, and we see it ain't changed. And I'm going to show you a little bit of that today. Uh, that was the end of that, right? So let's go to 2 Chronicles 36. Because I'm going to show you now where the Lord got tired. The Lord got fed up with his chosen. He said, you're going to do this for, for how long? I ain't going to let you keep doing this to me. <laughs> I'm blessing you and you still turn your back yeah. to me? Forgive me to hate what I'm not, but that's cold. Yeah. <laughs> right. Second Chronicles 36, uh, start with verse 11. Second Chronicles 36. Oh, okay. 36. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. All right. That's Zedekiah. Zedekiah was one and 20 years old when he began to reign and reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord his God, and humbled not himself, but before Jeremiah the prophet, speaking from the mouth of the Lord. That's right, because Jeremiah came in there. He was one of the people during the, during the days of Josiah, which is Zedekiah's uh, uncle. And he, Jeremiah was one of the people 10 years straight. And they still wouldn't listen. Same today. Yeah. And he also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by God. Mm. But he stiffened his neck and hardened his heart from turning unto the Lord God of Israel. Mm. Moreover, all the chief of the priests and the people transgressed very much afar all the abominations of the heathen mm. and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up bedtimes and sending, because he had compassion, compassion on his people yes. and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. He said, I'm tired. Y'all yeah. don't want to listen to me? I got something for you. I'm going to whoop you because you're my child. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to put that discipline on. 
to straighten you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep reading when you get a chance. Therefore, he brought upon them the kings of Chaldees, That's Nebuchadnezzar. Go ahead. Who slew them, their young men with the sword in their house of their sanctuary. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I, I see my people, our people, we went through this. History repeats itself. Yeah, it does. You got the four black girls in Birmingham, Alabama killed in the church. You got last year, <laughs> was it 2016 or 2015, where, who was that? Dylan Ruth. Yeah. Dylan Ruth killed a bunch of blacks in the church. Inside the church. Yeah. Ain't that wickedness? It is, man. It's but sad. the Lord allows it because people are not obeying it. <laughs> <laughs> tell you. you got to straighten them out. You got to. Go ahead and finish reading that, bro. 17. Or, yeah. I, it, uh, yeah, I believe it is. Uh, no, it's uh, 18. Uh, or, uh, uh, and had no compassion on young men, right. or made an old man, or him that stooped for age. He gave them all into his hand. Mm -hmm. And all the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his princes, and all these he brought to Babylon, and they burnt the house of God, and break down the walls of Jerusalem, and burnt all the palaces thereof with fire, and destroyed all the good, good godly vessels thereof. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon, where they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths. For as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbaths to fulfill three score and ten years. That's seventy years. Man. Now, let's go to Daniel chapter 9. Daniel. Daniel 9, we get with verse 1. Yeah, the Lord is here, man. <laughs> yes. He's here. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, yeah, of the seed of the Medes, Medes. Yeah, Medes, which was made king over the realm of Chaldeans. Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Mm. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Mm -hmm. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the, the great and dreadful God, yes. keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, to them that keep his commandments. Yes. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants the prophets, which spoke in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Let's go down to verse 9. Verse 9. To the Lord our God belong all belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed by thy law, even by departing that they might not obey the voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Mm. Man. He confirmed it. The curse is poured upon us. Go ahead, bro. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spoke against us and against our judges, that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done un upon Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities in understanding thy truth. That's right. That's the end of that. He said, under the whole heaven have not been done upon Jerusalem. Well, what a coincidence. Because black folks, yeah. under the whole heaven have not been done unto black folks yeah. that has been done to us. We was put on slave ships. 
carried all over the world. That ain't happening to no other people on this planet. No. <laughs> so this shows you who this is. But uh, go to Deuteronomy 28, a couple of verses there, and then we're going to show you something else. If thou, oh, 59, 28, 59, 61, okay. Then, yeah, yeah, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. Mm. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, mm. which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Whoa. Now, black folks got the highest, the highest God. sicknesses of the world yes. among any nation. And the Lord said he's going to bring new plagues. So I can look back a few, well, several years, and a new plague popped up called AIDS or HIV. Yes. The Lord is, the Lord is. Never gonna lie to you. Now, let me show you the, uh, where's that little printout up under there? Uh, I'm gonna, why, why don't you read that to me? Yeah, I mean, uh, so, yeah. yeah we, we read it 61, didn't we? 64 to 68 right here. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, no, no, that's down there. You got, we read that 61, then we're gonna show them this. That's that right there. Okay, yeah. Okay, but there's no other highly industrialized country with a homicide death rate similar to the one black Americans experience. Their homicide death rate 19.4 per 100,000 persons is about 12 times higher than the average rate among all people. Whoa, that's a curse. Yeah, it is a curse. <laughs> that is a curse. And it said 12 times. Why did it say 12 times? Because the Lord chose the 12 tribes of Israel. Ain't that something? Piece it together. Do your research. Now, let's let's go to back to Deuteronomy 28. 28. Alrighty. Um, 28.64. Yeah. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, mm -hmm. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there sh thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Mm -hmm. That happened to us as a people, as a nation. Yeah. He keep telling us over and over again in, the, in Deuteronomy and Leviticus that he's going to scatter us <laughs> from our homeland. Keep reading, bro, when you get a chance. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee have a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. Mm. And thy life shall hang in doubt. Before. <laughs> Man, uh, before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and that thou shalt have none as assurance, assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning for the fear of thine heart, wherewith shall thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Whoa. <laughs> he the Lord said he's going to bring you into Egypt again with ships. Egypt to us means bondage, yeah. captivity, and slavery. Moses led our people, our forefathers, out of Egypt. The Lord didn't want us there. Egyptians do a lot of paganism and idolatry. The Lord wants us to serve him and only him. You're a living God. <laughs> That's right. But since we were disobedient, since our forefathers were disobedient, he said he's going to bring thee again into Egypt with ships. How do we get spread all over the world by the transatlantic slave trade in ships? And speaking of which, this is something else. That's the next little paper. Oh, oh you got it all there already. Because I just want to point this out to you. I got this written down here. It says 1492. Not 1619, because a lot of my Hebrew brothers say 
we came to America in 1619. That is not true. We was here in slavery before then. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, read that, bro. Columbus was not the first European explorer to reach the Americas. Having been preceded by the Viking expedition led by Leif Erikson in the 11th century, but his voyages led to the first lasting European contact with the Americas. These words. Uh, you know, I'll be reading. Yeah, a period of exploration, conquest, conquest and con colonization. Colonization that lasted several centuries. Yeah. These voyages thus had an enormous effect on the historical development of the modern Western world. He spearheaded Ooh, the transatlantic slave trade and has been caused by several historians of initiation, initiation the, the genocide. genocide of the Hispaniola <laughs> natives, I don't know. But this, I, I post some links to this on the internet. It's telling you right here that Columbus, Christopher Columbus was not the first European to come to America, but he came in 1492. That's why when you listen to or read or watch the Malcolm X's old speeches, that's why Malcolm mentioned the Nina and the Pinta and the Santa Maria, because we were slaves on those ships that came to America. And they tell you right here that Christopher Columbus spearheaded the transatlantic slave trade. That means he started it. He had slaves on his ships. Okay? Wake up. Now, let's get back to the scriptures. Thank you for reading that, bro. You can move that out of the way. This is okay. This is okay. Now, where are we? Okay. Deuteronomy 32. It's a few pages over the so. One verse here. You want to confirm it again? Uh, 32, 1. Verse 26. 26. Okay. I said, I would scatter them into corners. Mm. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Whoa. The Lord keep telling you, I'm going to scatter you. And that's exactly what happened to us yeah. as a people. Now go to Psalm 30, uh, 83. Psalm 83. Yeah. Okay, I didn't think I had that in here, but I got it. Psalm 83, beginning with verse 1. Yeah, hold, hold up a second. Let me get that. I got excited. Sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead, bro. All right, keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make trump, trumla, uh, tumult, tumult, tumult. Yeah. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. Mm. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Whoa. For they have consulted together with one constant. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarin. 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 Hold up before you go there. Yeah. He said, and as the Lord say, they have taken craft and counsel against the Lord's people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They are confederate against thee, they, they have one consent, the tabernacles of Edom and the Israelites of Moab. Okay, that's two top on the list. Two nations of people still around that know who the true children of Israel are, but they ain't gonna tell you. And and I'm, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the brother read something about one of these two. Talking about Edom, this is Revelation. Just read that, Revelation chapter two, verse nine. Yeah, just verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of synagogue Satan. Of Satan. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Satan. He say, he know the blasphemy of them that call themselves Jews, yeah. but they not, because they helped another, it's another lesson, but they helped <laughs> They help other nations get us up out of our homeland. That's why That's why you got Muslim, black Muslims surnaming themselves with the letter X. Because they don't know where they're from. 
Because the majority of our people don't know where, where we're from. That's why right here in Psalm 83 it says, Thy hidden ones. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, now, nah, what was that? Okay, what's next? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, let's go to Daniel 9. Daniel, Daniel chapter 9. Two verses here. Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9, verse 7. 7, seven and 8. Alright. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of, of faces. Yes. Wow. At this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And unto all Israel that are near and that are far off. Scatter. Scatter. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. <clears throat> o Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faith, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. Mm. Sin. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what happens. Now, we're going to go to a history book. Uh, oh, yeah, here you go. Son of a Pictorial Bible Dictionary, page 330. Let's read the highlighted part. The, the youngest son of Noah. What, 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 what's his name? Ham. Mm hmm. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood, yes. he became the progenitor, progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Whoa! <laughs> the Negroes. He the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. Man. So that means Negroes are not Africans. Ah, but they call us over here African American. Yes. Some may right. I'm going to show you something. Yeah. You see this here? <laughs> this is an Egyptian painting or whatever. This is a Semite, which is out of the Sea of Shem. And these are Egyptians. Don't they look alike? Wait, you probably can't see that. Don't they look alike? All of them look alike, right? Just like you got Gentiles yeah. <laughs> that look like Edomites. My camera back on. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, uh... You know, but they are in different seas. That's why you got Noah three sons. The Europeans come out of Japheth. The Africans or Libyans or Ethiopians come out of Ham. But we come out of Shem. And it's all throughout the Bible. And this is a this is a picture. Okay, up here is the Egyptians. You see these two with the Egyptian headdress. Down here, you got Israelites. And if you look real close, you see they arms are tied behind their backs. Yeah. That's slavery. Slavery. Yes. <laughs> but don't they look alike? Yes. <laughs> oh man, wake up, Israel, wake up. Okay. It's here. Yes. <laughs> here. Here. All right. Now let's. Uh, ooh. Oh man, I, I forgot about the other history book. Valley of Dry Bones. Read that, bro. We went. Yeah, right here. Right here. Yeah, this is another curse. Curse of the loss of identity. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Confusion of face. Go ahead, bro. The word identity refers to a people's nationality, culture, history, and language. A people gets its nationality and language from the nation to which they belong. Germans are from Germany, Chinese from China, Egyptians from Egypt, Mexicans from Mexico. Black Americans from where of all the nationalities <laughs> in America. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 slow down. Okay. He said Black Americans from where? Okay. And there's a question mark after that. Yeah, that's a question mark. <laughs> where are we from? We're not from Africa. We was brought there in slavery. But that's another lesson. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, that's a question mark. Of, of all the nationalities <laughs> in America, black, black Americans are the only ethnic group that is not called by its true national name. Mm. This is quite interesting. 
We see here that the black Americans lack a nationality. Why the reason is the Lord God of heaven and earth has permitted the enemies of the African Judean, Judean to take away our true nationality. Do we have any biblical proof of this? Yes, we do. Yes. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And that the name of Israel will be no more in remembrance. And we read that in Psalm 83. Yeah. Four through five. Yes, sir. Uh, now, say we got proof. That's Just read your Bible. Yeah. That's revelation. <laughs> read the word of God. Yes. He will reveal all things to you yes. if you truly seek him. Yes. Now, okay, let's go back to the Bible. Isaiah 42. Mm. Here goes another clue. Is it a little deep? Yes. Yeah, some good stuff. <laughs> that, that's good. That's good. That's, good. that's how it should be. That's the word of God, baby. Isaiah 42 and start with verse 18. Right. Hear ye deaf, and look ye blind, that ye may see who is blind but my servant. Mm. Talk to his people. Yes. Or deaf as my messenger that I sent. Who is blind as he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant, mm. seeing many things, but thou observest, observest not, mm. opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake, he will magnify the law and make it honorable. Yes, but this is a people robbed and spoiled, they are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. Mm. You know why? Okay, first of all, ain't a lot of blacks in prison. Yes. <laughs> Hid in prison house. Yes. <laughs> That's a big clue. Yes. Now, uh, go ahead and finish that up. Okay. Um, who among you will give ear for this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil in, in Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord he against whom we have sinned? Mm. For they would not walk in his ways. Neither were they obedient unto his law. Mm. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle. And it hath set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not and it burned him. Yet he laid it not to the heart. Mm. Wow. Yeah, now let's go over to chapter 43. Isaiah 43 and start with verse 25. I even, I am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake. Yes. And will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. The first rather have sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. The first fall. That's Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. Adam and Eve listen to the devil. Yeah. And we've been dying ever since. Still listening to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go ahead, bro. Put in. <laughs> where we leave off now? Uh, okay, verse 28 now. 28. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary. And have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. Mm, that, that confirms it. Yeah. Say Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. The house, Jesus is going to rule over the house of Jacob forever. We are the house of Jacob, which also is Israel. So, now, let's go to Zechariah 11. We almost done. Thank the <laughs> yeah. Lord. Yeah. Thank you. You're getting Jesus. through it. Possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they 
that sell them, say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. <clears throat> that happened to our people. Yeah. <laughs> the people that had our forefathers of slavery didn't even think they was doing nothing wrong. Didn't even think they was doing evil. <laughs> but, man, that's another lesson. Yes. Uh, okay, that was what? Zechariah, turn to Luke 12. That's a beautiful day. Yeah. That's a beautiful day. Because the wicked are going to say, we got to hide ourselves when the yeah. Lord return. But anyway, uh, okay, what was that? Luke 12? Now, nah, Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10, okay. That's Jesus. Yes. Isaiah 10, one verse at verse 4. Matthew 23 and verse 37. All right. 
O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, mm. and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen, hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. The Lord say, I've been trying to gather my people, but y'all don't want to turn to me. Yeah. Keep going, bro. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. The second coming. It's going to be a wonderful day for the righteous. Ooh, did I say that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. First Peter 1. We read it earlier, so... Uh, let me see. First Peter chapter one. And, and since we read it earlier, just read verse 13 and then we're gonna read the next chapter. The next so, verse 13 right now. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end of the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yes. Now turn to Second Peter. Second Peter. Second Peter one. We get a verse one. Why do we read that? Second Peter one through eleven. Wherefore, laying no, Simon. No, not Second Peter. Yeah. yeah. One through eleven. There you go. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Yes. Yes. According as his divine power hath given us, given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and for virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Yes. <laughs> that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and besides this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, yes. and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and bound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren for unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh of these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Yes. <laughs> Keep uh, reading, bro. Wherefore the, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Never. Ever. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. That's yes, Jesus. All right, last scripture, Revelation 20. Right. Verse 1. Some of the blessings and the curses of the Bible. Yeah. We gotta make sure 
We got a hard job. Yeah. You yeah. know, we got to wake up the people to serve God. Yes. You know, anything else is uncivilized, as they say. Yes. Grace and peace multiplies yes. in you and yours, and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High God. Good God, right. brother. Good job. Yes. True living God. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh,